hey, I've been having some very powerful breakthroughs that I've been waiting for for literally years. And I want to share with you nosages. Nosages. But um, I want to share this with you. I'm downstairs. I just put the laptop down and I've been working all day. <sighs> so this is what it is. This channel is about consciousness and about personal development. Hence, I am ability. And thank you so much um, for being here. And if you know me for a long time um, or not, I'm Keith Kelfus. Aside from all that. So here's the breakthrough. We get stuck on these plateaus where you're just working incessantly. You're, you have a, a deep frustration and you're not seeing your life take off. You can try harder. You can work harder. You can work more hours. And it's like you keep going up and down and up and down, but you're like bouncing off of this glass ceiling. And what we're really looking for is an epiphany. And we might get five or six of those in an entire lifetime. Like I'm talking big, aha, game-changing epiphanies where the spiritual thing comes through you, aligns your spirit man to your chakras to everything to all the some actual physical neurosynaptic connections just fire and connect the dots in your brain and unlock it's almost like a, a certain dot connects tangentially like an actual synapse in the brain from a thought or a realization and it fires in a way that completes a circuit and then everything else comes online like in a whole new area of your pattern you like you it's like you're able to see around and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God. And this makes perfect logical sense as well to me. To me, This perfect sense in every different level of truth. And it's like, oh, we finally get the, through the last door thing that lets all the grains of rice spill and fill up the whole thing. It's the, the straw that broke the camel's back in a positive way it happens to your brain. And you're fighting to get to these things so you can have more. But you can't go from A to Z because then it would just like freak you out. It would spill all over the place. So you have to build all these structures and lines, levels, states, and stages of your consciousness. The structures and the frameworks in the consciousness that can hold the new impouring of wealthy consciousness. When it flows inductively, you have to be able to sustain it like resistors and diodes and capacitors inside of a circuit board control electrical energy or DC current flowing through and then allow it to moderate. So what happens in the consciousness, the mind-body connection, when you, when, you, when you reach these levels, it's almost like if you were to take somebody who's totally poor and walk them through a wealthy person's life and they'd be like, oh my God, this is crazy. Then they go back home their mind is blown, but after a couple of days, they just go back into their normal shape, and that just becomes like a memory, but they don't retain much of it, right? If you work and build these muscles and, and structures and the consciousness, then you can retain more and more and more, since you can keep leveling up little by little by little. So I think it's in like the footprints of the sand. I remember when I was a kid in my grandma's house going up the stairs, she always had this like, it was like a painting. It was like footprints in the sand. And when Jesus said it was like in your hardest times, that's when I carried you. Oh, oh yawning. Because I believe yawning is integration. Integration of consciousness. The integral consciousness, as Ken Wilber talks about. Man, I've been waiting my whole life to have these things come together. So, um, the biggest blocks for you can be unworthiness. Blocks of poverty, blocks of mental illness, blocks of frustration, attention deficit, unhealthy boundaries, depression, drugs, alcohol, abusive relationships, letting um, other people run all over you, and not knowing who you are at your core. No, I'm in my 30s, and I tell you, this took me till I was in my 30s to connect into my body and be here now. I remember being in my 20s and having non nonstop insecure arguments in my head like I was pleading to a court and having these fictitious arguments in my head 
that I would play out. I'd be at work, but I'd be having this whole stress out experience, arguing with somebody about something and fighting for why I feel the way that I feel and having these whole fictitious arguments of what they would say and how I was so defensive around it and like seeking permission and approval and unworthiness. And the craziest thing is I have somebody in my life who's a full blown adult. So this person will never change at this point who is still going through those levels of unnecessary suffering to the point of uh, absolute mental illness and it's very fascinating to watch it unfold and happen in real time and to be able to have the discernment and this and discernment and just distinguish what's truth from fiction. And when you see, you can consciously feel and see that witnessing the very act of being 